spot. So kind of surprised to see Williams result coming. Uh, Williams resolve coming out so strong early on with a lot of what? offense. As Raspin is just gonna what? drill this into his no. own top corner. Oh, this is this is the most stylish angle I've ever seen. A Takumi RXT with a rabbit topper on a oh. guillotine double tap like will land cleanly and get the clear away. Carmine's holding on. Oh, wow. Great press from Radisson there to keep the pressure. Oh. And that's a like wicked pin straight into the net. Unlucky. Astral going to put two on the board for K-Corp. Look at Astral go here. Oh, so oh. close on that one. That is rough if you're prime. You're never giving them follow-up shots. And anytime there is a slight mistake, there's been a player in net. Clock is at zero, up by two. Even if they're able to find this tap in, it won't matter. Carmine Corp going to win game number one. Good game one from K Corp. Of course, uh, went about about as you expected. Back across his goal. Atati will drop it into the box once more. Here's the pressure from oh, Snake. It misses. It Follow up from Astral, though. The three touches uncontested will not miss. K Corp back on top. You could feel the approach from Itachi there. You saw Sizen coming out of the corner. It's like, yeah, he's just going to pop this off the ceiling and they're just going to keep throwing it up above their heads. And they're eventually Sizen. Great diving stop coming over the shoulder of Itachi there. The demo's building up and here's that pressure. Oh, I expected to see oh, oh. pass to Astral. 2 0. Carmine Corp cruising. Oh, the moment this comes off of Stake's hood, I know it's a goal. Again, beating the defender and look at the separation from the back wall. He gives Astral so much space to take that shot. Not a nice stop and drop from Williams Resolve there. Kill the ball's momentum. Let a teammate who's already moving come. But here comes Atachi into another goal. Oh my goodness. 3-0 okay, K-Corp. You ever see a, a drive up the wall like that smooth? Perfect touch, instant boost. I mean, the timing from Astral there is just yeah. impeccable. I mean, he, yeah. not too fast, not too slow, just stuck right behind the ball so that even if they did get the challenge, he was going to be able to put some muscle on it. That's great command as Astral wins a oh, kickoff man. with the help of his teammate. Make it 4-0. All right, move on. Let's go to game three. Hat trick for Astral. You heard him on the desk. Like, is Astral going to be too much? And he he so far has been the issue. For Williams Resolve, just getting a goal. On you hung on tight there at the end for Williams Resolve. But is that going to go in? Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. <laughs> what a way to bring some energy back. And also keep yourself from getting clean swept. Here's Stake taking it up the wall. Sizen played off there the ceiling. <laughs> oh, oh, nearly gets stolen about how game two played out, but you know you've got things to fix in game three. Like I said, it, it really does come down to that clear game here against a team like Carmine Corp. You, you have to be able to find some type of gap to fit that ball through. And when all three players on that K Corp side of the ball are, are, are so fast and read the game so well, that is what truly what makes it in one on K Corp to come up there and attack you and take the ball away. So they could just oh. be trying to stay oh. close to Let's the nose and see what happens. Radisson pulls the string on a defender, dishes it out to Sizen, and they're up one. Gotta love this pass. Radisson hitting them on the brakes that both players bite a little bit and gives them just enough space to give it out to Sizen and they can't get back and clear for prime. And how do you get up to it? The answer is you don't. You're already back under pressure. Oh. As Astral comes through for free. I gotta wonder. I want to see who is rotating in towards the corner there. It's Radisson, and he's just beat, so he flips, and it's Sizen, wow. who's, I think, giving way to... On the backboard, Itachi's up for it, looking for the dunk on Prime. Prime gets it past him, and Stake now challenging in the corner as the clock expires. Radisson off the ceiling. Does he put it into the ground himself? It looks like he's going to try to. Astral to the midfield. Ooh. Stake keeps it alive. k -Corp trying to win this in regulation. Ooh. Back and run it in! Oh, my goodness, it's beautiful! <laughs> you tried. You love the idea from Radisson. Take the air dribble, force the challenge. It'll skip onto the floor, but Stake with a beautiful catch at the midfield line. A perfect pass out of the corner. And Itachi there to nail it into the top of the net. Now that's rough if you're uh -huh. Williams Resolve. Oh, that one is all Itachi. The Batmobile. Now traditionally, the Batmobile is kind of tended to be a a real deep third Woo! player as he almost saves Sizen's own shot. Prime able to dish one out into the middle here. And I think it's a demo. And yeah, it's just Itachi doing his best to kind of since he doesn't have the time to actually turn around on the wall, man has traditionally, uh, the Batmobile has traditionally found itself in RLCS. Oh, apparently no. He's net. just going to drive forward and laugh as Itachi, I, I think, was thinking I have time to go get boost. <laughs> I think Radisson had like camo activated here or something. Itachi just straight up doesn't see him. He's like, yeah. oh, oh dear. Until the last <laughs> moment when it was too late. Who's there just 
hoping to throw the, the defender off as they actually beat themselves. State oh! double commits with Itachi, and indeed they do get burned. 3-0, Williams resolve. Carmine Court, like, like, Itachi's challenge there is so ambitious. He's, he's trying so hard, he lands on the wall and immediately dismantles. Is the question, oh. Sizing with a big miss there, Radisson. Kind of forced to just what? Do that. Is that in his net too? Oh my goodness. What is going on? What is this? So here comes Radisson up again. There's a defender. He bounces he's the ball it. off the hood of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's got it. Atachi's right there. He knows it's coming this time. The first the goal Batmobile. where Atachi didn't see him. Yeah. There, there, there was, there was one. The, <laughs> an, another one. Again, up in the front. 5 0 now. Uh, Carmine Corp going to drop game four. Absolutely. Oh, As man. Radisson just finds the dunk. I mean, it, all three players are in the Williams Resolve half for this goal. Like, uh, overextension from time to time. You know, most of the time it works out. Uh, every now and again, though, you end up giving up three goals on a completely open net. They'll get one back here. Astral. That's a nice pass to Itachi, to be fair. But uh, even, even with four goal differential in two minutes, it still feels a bit much to ask. It does feel in defense. They might immediately lose the one that they've gotten back. Here comes Sizen dropping it into the box again. Whoop. And Stake will get it away. Follow yeah, from okay. Radisson's in. Okay, I, that, the faith is fading. Clearly, Batmobile uh, was the answer, apparently. Yeah, uh, that's right. Radisson is having quite the game. Five goals on six shots, three saves. Eight to two to come back seven to one in game four would be quite, quite stylish. As they get it right there, Prime puts it in. Jeez. Take it down. Well, this is uh, if you're on Carmine Corps, you kind of just all look at each other sheepishly and then you and then you all look at Williams resolve and you just oh. it's getting stylish. And the clock will expire with the ball in the corner. Oh, no, there he is. He breaks it. All right. There we go. Bring us up to seven deuce. They survive complete disaster, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> but but really, I, I, I'm still trying to think of what I make about those first four goals that yeah. Carmine Core allowed. I mean, the, just the the one where Itachi just flat out doesn't see Radisson is it, yeah. just mind blowing to me. I mean, he was yeah. right. <laughs> clearly slim profile is, is the new meta. I mean, well, name tag should have just alerted him. Yeah, uh, at he's the got various, most of yeah. the Williams Resolve um, opportunities really kind of get installed out of the midfield. Oh my gosh, oh. that's a mechanical misplay. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. I want to look at this from Prime's perspective. I want to know if he genuinely thought he had time to recover here, or I think he just messed that up. I think he just missed the ball. <laughs> I think I mean, he just, just messed, messed that up. <laughs> Watch that recovery time from Astral on that awkward approach. <laughs> it's terrifying as hard pass Whoa. off the corner, oh! and it's actually going to get through. I can't believe this is in. Again, the pass play in the corner is great, but it really looked to me like the defender got here in time. Oh, I, I can't even tell if it pinched or not. What a play from Astral. So fine two in the K Corp half. Astral. Ooh, good bump. Here's Radisson across Ooh. the goal and in. Oh, he finds the zero degree angle from the corner. It's a one goal game. Set up by the bump from Prime. He dismounts the backboard, gives Stake a little tap to give Radisson an angle. Itachi try as he might. Honestly, a decent attempt at a cover up from a terrible. Astral challenges the ball off of his hood. Back and bouncing at midfield. Prime to the corner. Radisson's here and looking for bumps. Finds one. Gets it past the second. There and is. they it. Oh, what a play. Tie game. The vision again comes through Prime. Great control. Another bump this time from Radisson and instead of going straight towards the net Ooh. dish it out middle let him pick his spot and great command on the goal line Itachi making sure actually big fake there to pull Radisson off the ball and maybe Carmine Corp have a little extra time oh! he's just gonna drill one off the wall to himself we're going to game five no way they find a way to bring this back oh my goodness an overtime win and a pretty one oh, at that wow. the last three goals money from Williams Resolve as they take the win in game five. Huge win for Williams Resolve. I mean, what a way to do it as well. You, you really didn't give him too much of a chance down two nil with what, a minute 20? Yeah. They find two big plays. We'll see if there's a little more magic to be found in the plank. We'll see. On the backboard size and drops yes. it in. And another <laughs> one here to open up game six. Uh, nasty kickoff. Astral getting chipped, so he couldn't stick with that ball. And Itachi, that's always going to be a tough save. Coming around the side prime. Stake rotates out. Itachi in the corner is Astral. Challenges oh, from Nabe! Oh, 
Oh man, they caught them in such an awkward spot. Astral, I don't think, realized he's the player that has to challenge here. Yeah, I mean, that's a strong bounce off the corner. And Astral, yeah. he actually caught, caught rotating near post. Oh, here's Sizem. Oh. Onto the wall, oh, pass oh, three! No way, two defenders were up. I thought there was no chance, but a third goal's in the net. Oh, Itachi only has 12 boosts here. No wonder he doesn't have a clean line to it. Honestly, considering he only has 12. A game seven between Carmine Corp and Williams Reserve Resolve. My goodness, this is crazy. I th th This is the best timeline. And what a road it's been to get here. Yeah. And to be honest, Williams Resolve, this is kind of a two pronged you know, reason for how we end up at the conclusion of games. You really got to lean on Astral. You got to depend on him to find a way through the defense, make a big challenge, set up a big oh. play, and it's actually going to come in the form of Itachi here. I believe he pinches this one off the sidewall for stake against Prime, and yep, that's right over Radisson's head. He's really not doing Ooh. anything wrong there. He's thinking he's going to have more time. It's just that chance. Left to go. A one-goal lead for Carmine Corp. Oh, great touch from Prime. And oh, that's a what is that what? shot from Radisson? You have got to be kidding. 95 kilometers per hour. This is a beautiful touch. Ooh. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> Let's just neutralize it immediately. Okay, they will survive in Prime now. Back out to Sison. With a minute remaining, oh, look at the lead. Sison pushes it in. Then back on top. Sison, he's just coasting on the left hand side and he's like oh astral doesn't actually have the space to reach it <laughs> so he just jumps up tries to bump him off he dodges the bump finds a clear neutralizes a challenge prime popping off oh, on the back the line but here comes astral oh. into an empty net snake will tie the game you gotta love the aggressiveness from k-corp here astral with a block and look at atachi racing radis into the ball astral recovering to beat the last man and stake of course right behind both of them to play to prime back to radis though. look at this pass play into this corner one more time oh, no astral. challenges back into the what? box and astral's got it up the middle of the field nobody's there you gotta no way that's how this ends oh my carmine corp stave off the upset in advance Oh, you see the touch and why, Prime? Why would you chicken out of the challenge? He turns off instead of trying to drive through the challenge against Astral. And it is, what did you say? What What is it, Wave of the Worm Burner? Right down the oh. middle and every...